All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a really quick video over the new Hextech crafting system. Um, sorry about the quality. I'm just doing it from my stream. Um, but you'll get the basic idea. So here we are on the PBE right now. Um, and what we've got here is we've got the Hextech chest, a Hextech key, and a Hextech chest and key bundle. Now, from what I understand, to get a Hextech chest, it happens one of two ways. Um, if you're just solo queue, if you get an S, S plus, or S minus in your game, you get a Hextech chest. If you're a group with people, if any of those people get an S minus, an S, or an S plus, then um, you, get a, you get a chest. Now, from what I understand is that the champion that you get your S or S plus or S minus on, you get locked out for the season on that champion. So you can't get another chest on that champion for the rest of the season. So it's promoting you to get, you know, to have good games with multiple champions or to have good games with your friends. Because then, you know, if me and three people from my stream get into a group together and say, I get an S minus on this game, we get chest. If the next person gets an S minus on the next game, we get chest. Um, and you can only get a maximum of four chests per month this way through winning they so can only get a maximum of four per month um or you can buy them in the shop now again with this pretty much being uh you know pbe the prices are probably going to change honestly because look 125 for a chest 125 for a key or 195 for both you know um so what i'm going to do let me go ahead and buy five here really quick because they're nothing and they're wanting us to test them out. So let me get these really fast. And then we'll go from there. Now keys you will randomly get based on winning the game. From what they say, you will get a higher, a, a smaller, higher chance of getting keys um, if you group with friends. So again, it's really promoting this friend system. Um, as you've seen in the past with, um, you know, adding to Facebook and things like that. I think I need one more. Um, I don't know if they are going to do the club system tomorrow in the 6.1 patch, but we'll see. They haven't added anything about it. But so I just got some keys. So let's go and see here. And if you look up here, they've actually got quite a bit going on in here. They still got the snowdown shop up but if you look it's changed to a lunar background instead of the snowdown shop but yet all the same snowdown stuff is here does it mean that it's going to come during this holiday as well who knows but you'll have this cool little thing here with the gem uh and that's going to basically be the hex tech crafting now i've done quite a bit here tonight already but i figured i'd give you guys um a lot of things to look at so normally you wouldn't have anything in here at all okay um so let's say you get your first let's let's just say you get your first key in your chest right so whenever you open one it's just gonna basically be like a mystery chest you might as well say and you'll get your goodies now as you can see here i got a haunting ward skin shard and that's it. So sometimes you get one thing, sometimes you may get two, sometimes you may get three. Um, it's completely random. Now, shards are what I've been referring to on the stream as cards, I guess you can say. Um, it's it's unlocks that chance of getting it. And, and I'll explain more a little bit later. So let's go and open up a couple more. So we got a, a word skin on that one. A word skin shard or card rare gem now rare gems pretty cool i'm glad i got one it gives you another chest and key and it always gives you that and something else so 
So let's see what else we get from it. We got Pumpkinhead Fiddlestick Skin Shard. That's cool too. Alright. Let's go and open up these other three. See what we get here. Now we've got Pantheon. Now this is a champion one, so that's good. Let's see. One more. We got here. Banner of the Horse Ward Skin. So another Ward Skin. So that's cool. Shard, by the way. Not the actual... You don't unlock it. And let's see what we get here now. Tristana Champion Shards. So I got all shards. Alright? Now... All I've gotten is shards except for one icon, which was this icon up here. And this one, it just gave it to me. So you can get the things already unlocked, or you can get these shards or cards that, that I'm saying. So let's go and take a look at what we've got so far. Now, I'll go ahead and explain this a little bit. Now, you see a couple of different things here. Uh, we got this, the, the shards. You can see are these kind of doled out versions and stuff like that uh, and then you've actually got the permanents which we'll, we'll go into here a little bit later so whenever we get your 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 shard so you know we, we got uh pantheon shard here uh, misfortune shard uh luck shard whatever you can see here up in the right uh, upper left hand corner where it's got like the little blue icon and 261 and that's basically saying that it'll give you 261 champion shards for it if you disenchant it. Now, skins have the cosmetic shards. So like this Frost Queen Janna um, skin would give me 322 cosmetic shards. So um, that kind of explains the shard system down here. Now, if let's say you want Pantheon, okay? You got the shard for Pantheon, and you want it. What do you do then? You know, if you want to upgrade it to a permanent one, you have to have 490 champion shards already to even unlock him. So, you know, if, if, you, if you haven't already disenchanted a bunch of champion shards, you can't unlock him. All right? So... There's a couple of other ways to do it. Now let's say this re-roll into a random champion permanent. Now this is pretty cool. Let's say we don't want that one. Alright? And let's say, well, we don't want Skarner either, or Fiora, or, or any of these other ones. You know? What do we do with them? Now, let's find some of these that are really low. Okay? So they're not gonna give us a lot of shards. Alright? So, like, Vagar is only 193 shards, and Tristan is only 193 shards. So, we're going to get rid of all three of these to give us a permanent champion. Right? So, if we, if we use three shards, we can get a random, basically a mystery champion skin. Best way to, or mystery champion is the way to say it. So, we're going to roll these three. So... You know, we're gonna re we're gonna reroll these and we're gonna permanently unlock a new champion. So we got Caitlyn. So now whenever we get the Caitlyn champion permanent, it adds it into your inventory, basically. So then the same thing the, the same thing happens with skin. You know, the skins are the exact same thing uh, to unlock them. Um and the same way with the word, you know, everything is you can use three things to unlock something permanently. Right? So you you basically can go with and trade in three shards for something permanent, but it's gonna be random. So it's basically like giving yourself a random skin or a random champion mystery gift. Now, you can also um activate Oh, it's a rental for seven days. Now, I think this is kind of cool. If you get a champion that you're not sure you'd like, like Skarner. I personally have never played Skarner. But I want to give him a shot, and he's not free 
in the ne ne near foreseeable future. You know, I could activate him for seven days and play him for seven days, see if I like him. And all that takes, I believe, is just one shard. Yeah, you just need the card. That's it. So, um, that's a pretty cool thing. Now, the other things that you can do um, is, like I said, you can disenchant it. So, um, let's say, you know, we've got um, somebody really high, like, like Fiora. All right. Let's say you've already got Fiora. All right. Now, you don't want to put somebody that, as you can see, whenever we tried to permanently unlock one, it took quite a bit of shards to unlock it. So, this one's going to give us 322, and I've already got Fiora. So, I'm going to go ahead and disenchant this one. And it's going to give me 322 champion X. So, now I have 1,327. So, it's going to take a while to build this up. You're you're not going to be getting a bunch of free champions and stuff right off the bat, um, and you're going to kind of have to play what you want to do. You know, do I want to keep this? Do I want to disenchant it? Do I want to keep it for maybe a reroll later? Um, you're you're going to kind of have to think of these things way ahead of time. So, hopefully that that answers a little bit about the system. Um, one thing I have found is you cannot gift it, at least on the PBE. So hopefully in live, you will be able to gift keys and stuff like that. Now, some of these things, as you can see here with uh, Malzahar, Snow Day Malzahar, um, I've already unlocked it. I traded in three skin shards and I got that as a permanent one. So... Now you've got the permanent thing. So you got your, your free mystery gift, you might as well say. What do you want to do with it? You can disenchant it. You can reroll it again, but just as before, you have to add two more. So they're going to cost you three. Or you can actually unlock it. So since it's a permanent, I don't have to spend any any essence to unlock it. So, like with the Snow Day Malzahar, yes, I wanted that one. Oh, thank God, I can't get it anymore. Thank you. Now I have it. So, if I went into my inventory and I wanted to see Malzahar and I wanted to play that skin now, all my hard work paid off and I now have Snow Day Malzahar. So, um, that the, these gold rimmed ones, see how they're not they're not shaded out. Like these are really dull and they're blue. The gold ones and they're really really bright is basically a permanent, which means it's unlocked. Now, through the boxes, like I said, I got an icon, but that's the only thing I've gotten that was already unlocked. There's already a permanent. That's the only one. Um, everything else has all been um just these shards so and word skins will be the exact same way you know you, you can unlock it uh, but the word skins and i'm pretty sure the champion icons as well will be um cosmetic essence not champion so again you're going to have a different pool for it so since we got a gem uh, in our last one, let's go ahead and get into that. So if you do get a rare gem, like I said, it's basically like the snowball event that just happened. If you get a legendary when you gifted a legendary, well, guess what? You get another skin. So in this particular case, I opened up a chest with a key and I got a rare gem and something else. Well, the rare gem, if you forge it, gives you another chest and key. So it's like a snowball. So... We got a rare chest, uh, we got a rare gem. Now we got a chest and key. Let's see what we got out of this one. If we got anything special out of this one. And we got a Heimerdinger Championship. So, nothing too special. So, let's go ahead and open up just a couple more. Uh, we're going to open up uh, five more. Just to see what we get, so you can kind of see the randomness of it. Now, they did say 
that um you know with keys you can get more keys uh, you have a higher percentage to get keys if you group with your friends so that's really going to kick in with the um the club system and everything as well um so that's going to be really cool uh, let's get one more here we'll just go with the with an even five see what we get now normally unless you just got a bunch of stuff that you're buying with rp if you're just doing this just play to get play it get it this could be like four months in the future before you even get this much stuff so is it a cash pool yeah a little bit but they've already stated that you will be guaranteed to get something higher than the amount of RP that you did. So just like the mystery gift. So, and it's a lower chance to get it. Um, I mean, it's a lower cost to buy it than a mystery skin. So in my mind, you know, if, if two of these and I got like, let's say a rare gem in both of them, I just got four for less than what it costs for me to get a mystery gift. So I think that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and open up these five here really quick and just see what we get. All right, so we got an Alistar Champion Shard. All right, and that was it. And now we got Dragon Blade Riven Shard. Dr. Mundo Champion Shard. We don't have very good luck on this route. Battlecast Ward Shard. Full Party Lee Skin Shard. So in my eyes, basically, the skin, the skin ones are probably going to be the ones you're going to want the most. <laughs> so, um, you know, you're going to have a lot of stuff there. And to be honest, it's going to kind of be, again, the same way with the champions. Are you going to shard it? Or are you going to random it for something random, permanent unlock? Um, it's entirely up to you. So, um, Let's say with this uh, this Riven, uh, Dragon Blade Riven, that let's say we want to actually upgrade this to permanent. Well, if you look, I can't. It won't let me. I can either re-roll or disenchant. Now, why won't it let me? Because I don't own the champion. So, you can get this stuff for champions that you don't own yet, which is really cool because, like, let's say you don't have... Vigar, but you now got his ultimate skin shard. You can wait until you're ready to get that before you unlock it. Now, um, if you if you do the three shards to get a a permanent unlock, like I did with this Fizz skin, you can get the skin even if you don't have the champion. So, but since this is a shard, I can't, I can't make it permanent without, um, without owning the champion. So let's go ahead and hop over really quick and let's go ahead and get Riven. And now whenever you look at it, we can upgrade it to permanent. So I can spend 1,050 cosmetic shards to upgrade it. I don't know how that much. I got 472. So, um, we would have to go through and, like, let's say this will give me 200. Uh, this will give me 300. This will give me 300. You know, what are you going to do? You know, you may have to wait quite a while. So, I would definitely recommend if you ever get a, a skin shard as a legacy skin, um, keep it don't do anything with it keep it for unlock 
for sure. Um, if it's a skin you don't like and you want to take a chance, you know, before you have something really cool, I would say go ahead and put it in the, the uh, re-roll and see what you get. Could be cool. But if you've already got something really awesome that you want, you know, like my stream right now is going nuts because I just got the Dragon Blade Ribbon. So, um, it's one of those things that if that's one that I really, really wanted, and I had a bunch of junk skins that I didn't want, or ward skins that I didn't want, because you can see here, this one's unlocked for 200 and, um, I can, I can disenchant this in 211. And I got 683. Well, I've already got the Haunting War. Or I've already got the battle cast war, or I've already got you know anything else. Same situation. So let's go and do one more rare gem here really quick since I got lucky and I got one earlier tonight. And let's just see what we get in here and see if we get something that we can um, add in to get rid of. All right, so Bandit Sivir Skin Shard. I'm just not having any luck tonight. So, um, since we got that Skin Shard, we can go through here and it's 248. So let's go and disenchant that. Oh, that's a 931. So let's find one more thing here. I'm not entirely sure which ones of these are still available that I can even get here on the PBE. So let's take a look here at this Janna one will give me quite a bit. So how much do I need? I need 10, 1,050. So I need at least 200 more. Uh, Arcade Hacker and I know we can get. So let's go ahead and disenchant Arcade Hacker. So we got 1377. So let's go ahead and get this Dragon Blade and Dragon Blade, and let's go ahead and upgrade it to permanent. So we're gonna use 1,050 cosmetic essence. And it permanently adds that skin to my. And that's pretty much it. So now if I went in and I looked at my champion. And I checked out Riven. You can see. I now have Dragon Blade. So hopefully that explains the system for you guys. And uh, can give you a little bit of insight on it. Now, again, I don't know if it's just because it's a PBE and you can't gift it or if they're not going to be gifted at all. But hopefully this will help you a little bit. And I've never actually seen Banner of the Horse. Or... That's weird. Must be old. Um, so hopefully that can give you guys a little bit of an insight. So thank you once again for, for um, watching this video. If you do like it, please thumbs up and uh, favorite this video. And feel free to join me on Twitch. Uh, I am on twitch.tv slash shadrack. Uh, this is my Twitch stream. Um, I'm pretty much streaming all day right now. So uh, I don't have a schedule anymore. So um, feel free to drop in. Uh, follow the stream if I'm not here so you can be notified. And, um, you know, we got, a, we got a bot now. You can get coins if you just want to AFK. Uh, we're doing some giveaways. I just gave away a key for um, Punch Club tonight. Um, I still have um, a whole bunch of things uh, to give away. So uh, we do need to build the follower up. So, all right, my, my, my chat is going insane. So hold on. I'm going to re-enable chat so everybody can say hi. So give me just a moment. And let me find it here. All right. And here is chat all saying hi. So Abstep is going insane. Um so yes, hello YouTube. Everybody say hi YouTube. So um thank you very much for follow for, for watching. Um be sure to subscribe. I haven't made a lot of videos in a while, uh, mainly because I've been streaming, but I promise to make some videos if you request them. So please leave a comment and uh follow the stream and let me know what you think. If you have any other questions about this system. Definitely let me know. Thank you very much.